Package, Chrome, whatever you have on your computer, where you go to the internet and type in dictionary.com. Now, this site is invaluable for me to replace the old dictionaries. Um, I volunteer at the Union Rescue Mission, and the directive is to pulp all dictionaries because nobody wants them. Um, now, you might be saying, well, I have a dictionary at home. I love it. But um, everybody that's connected with the Internet, the, this is all they're using is like this. Now, if I don't know how to pronounce something, that's why I love this. I'm, I'm very poor at pronunciation. You see down here, it says it, it, that word. Then, yeah, that one. Uh, if I click this, it'll play extenuate. Now, if I um, type something else up here, like a word I'm trying to um, find, um, word a word. Now, if you have these ads in here, this is why things are free. You know, the, they didn't just go out of business. They uh, started selling ads, so they could provide you this, these services for free. You can just scroll down and see that. And again, you click that, and that tells you how to pronounce it. If you're really into words, it even tells you word origin and, and so forth. Nearby words. If maybe I didn't mean bluebird, but I, I meant something else. Blue bonnet's a word. Now there's other dictionaries and we're gonna take a look at. Some of them have little better features, um, so forth. Uh, but that's dictionary.com. We're going to find a lot of the sites we're going to look at to replace all the old, um, uh, you know, volumes of encyclopedias and dictionaries and so forth that you used to use. Now up here, you see the tab says dictionary.com, and um, I can do a little control and see a little flashing circle if you have trouble seeing where I'm pointing. But it's right up here, thesaurus.com. That was actually our second one on the list here. So it's included in with this. So if I click on thesaurus.com, um, if I put happy in, and I put happy in this blank right here, and again, at any point you get lost, be sure to holler at me and say, hey, come look at this and tell me what's going on, I will. Okay. 
the top of the top of I don't know if you click that, because I'm sitting here like, mouse person is that, I don't know if you click it. I don't click those. <laughs> Yeah, you'll find you'll find that they'll try to sell you stuff, try to install stuff on your computer. So if something pops up, just close it out. Start again. The um, if I put happy in here and I click the little um, magnifying glass here, these are all the right. So merry, overjoyed, peaceful, pleasant, so forth. Now, if you do the drop down up here at the top, um, you see you got definitions. But we'll just go with happy there. This is kind of combined with dictionary, so you can see the definition of happy if you want. So that's what that definition was. Everybody get their, their words to come up? Yeah, that's advertisements. Like you can think of it as a Sunday paper. You open the Sunday paper and all these ads drop out. Well, the reason why the Sunday paper is as cheap as it is, though it's not necessarily cheap, is because of all those ads. So same same idea here. Ford's making um, making some pretty good sales by advertising here. Now, next one we're going to take a look at is thefreedictionary.com. So, yeah, go back up to the top bar, and you can um, delete what's there, or you could um, click it one time, and it highlights it, and just start typing the free dictionary.com. Oh, at the very top, where the... Now, if you got the PowerPoint, all you have to do is right-click on it and say, open hyperlink. Thank you. 
Oh, not the free, but the free. Oh. Let me think of it. I don't think that'll be real clear either. <laughs> Right. That's It is. It is. Once once you get used to it, I know it's a pain at first. Uh, you know. But um, here's the here's the website if you're entering that in. Yes. These are the major ones. There's a ton of other ones other than that. Oh, you're fine. That's what you want to get back to. Now, this right here is kind of similar to the other one. You can type in um, whatever you're looking up. Extenuate. As you start typing, it'll pop up with what you think you want to find. That was the beauty of a dictionary, is if you weren't quite sure how it's spelled, you could go to that part and kind of start thumbing through a little bit, assuming you know the first three or four letters, and you can easily find it. Uh, do it back if, um, yeah. But as you start typing that in, And I'll have this on a web page by next time through. You won't even have to type these in. I just never even thought about that. Not that hard.
So when it pops up, right. And you notice that there's some uh, like a British English. I'm assuming that's what the British flag is. Um, extenuate. I'm saying that right. Uh, again, it pops up down here. You got the little microphone. If you scroll down, it gives you information about it. Also gives you a bunch of ads and so forth. Okay, so if I scroll up, now if I do a back, you're back to that main page. The back is uh, right up here. You see where my cursor is. You should have a back button of some sort. Down here, there's um, there's games you can play if you need to improve your gr grammar. Um, there's Hangman, Grammar Quiz, Spelling Bee. I was playing with this earlier. A ruler have an unlimited power, a dis despot, despot, how you say that? If you click the little autocrat, so I could type in Auto crat and click answer and tell me whether I'm right or not. So, if you want to improve your um, uh, pronunciation, I suppose, and spelling, you could use this. But it has a lot of uh, other other options that the other one doesn't. So when you're at home and you just want to play with this site, you just bring it up and start clicking around. You know, if you go someplace where you shouldn't be, you just click the X in the upper right-hand corner and you start over. You go back to the free dictionary. You'll learn that as time goes on what you shouldn't click on. Um, you know, like if it says free to download, click here. Don't don't click free. It says you just won a million dollars from Ed McMahon. Don't click that. Um, and um, did everybody get on, get on that? There is, you know, it's a legal dictionary. If somebody's, uh, you're working on some kind of legal issue and you're trying to wonder what in the world the word they're saying to you, um, you can go to legal dictionary. And I don't know any legal different terms, but um, witness, boy, that's bad. Witness box. I'll tell you what a witness box is. You can also, on any of these pages, you see these tabs across uh, here, dictionary, thesaurus, medical dictionary. If you want to go to medical dictionary, you click this tab right here. At this point, you can start typing um, sleep apnea. Then you can read about sleep apnea. My doctor oftentimes uses words I don't understand. If I'd actually write them down, then I, you know, he tries to explain, he tries to dump it down, but he obviously doesn't realize what kind of level I'm at. Um, so if he, if I were to write them down, I could come home and read a little bit about what's going on with it.
Um, and we're going to talk more about encyclopedias here shortly. Is there any questions on the free dictionary? There is. You can be shocked at some of the places we'll go to, especially like archive.org. It's going to have so many videos out there. You can probably spend the rest of your life watching uh, free videos and old ones. Um, if you remember like uh, some of the Wolfman and Frankenstein movies when they first came out, black and white. I was watching a, one that was a horror uh, film that was, um, oh, what's that called when they put the words up on the screen? Si the si caption. Not closed caption, but it's like si silent movies. Silent movies. They have silent movies out there. So if you if you enjoy that, then uh, you could watch to your heart's content. Because all that's uh, past enough years that they can put it out there and you can watch it for free. You could download it if you wanted to. Um, no, that it'll be another site we'll look at. Now this one. And I'll leave it up here. Um, uh, if you got if you if you got PowerPoint on yours, um, then down here in the um, bottom right hand or bottom corner or bottom, you'll see the little P in red. If you click that, that'll bring this back up, and then you right click on this and you choose um, Open Hyperlink, and that'll open it automatically. Now for for you two in the back, you just type it out. So go, go to your uh, browser and type in uh, Mac, MacmillanDictionary.com. That says fourth one down. They don't make it very short. Oh, you don't need HTTPS. Part. Just start with www.macmillandictionary.com. It'll fill in the rest. It's just another type of dictionary. Mm -hmm. And each one tries to be maybe a little bit different, uh, to make themselves stand out from the others. Some are just, I, I just always use dictionary.com because um, mainly it's the pronounce, pronouncing certain words I have trouble with. I've always had a speech um, issue and um, that helps me. Although some of them I still can't say right. <laughs> I'm, I'm teaching a hardware repair for the first time this semester, and I never have time before. And, pro and programming is what I'm really good at in terms of computers. I'm not good at fixing computers yet. Maybe two or three years from now, I could say I'm I'm fair, uh, but there's a lot of acronyms involved with that, and I know some of them I'm butchering. And I'm, so, I'm sure if students even know how some of them pronounce, probably shaking their head at home. It's like, this guy doesn't even know how to pronounce uh, this acronym. And I've looked some of them up, but there's just so many acronyms. That... Yeah, I'm cut up my own wires here. Did we get the site up? Yep, that's perfect.
You always come up with new words. There's a big peck, big, big packer, a Western tourist who tries to fund their continuing travel plans by begging for money on the streets of the countries that are much poorer than the country they came from. <laughs> and you see it, a lot of it's still uh, still the same as before pronunciation and if you can't get to this site don't worry too much about it now because these, these aren't that interesting once you see one dictionary but you notice across the top it has other resources doesn't it so he has games. So I suppose if you got if you're got somebody that's wanting to learn uh, about games um, or learn words and then want to do it with games, then they click that. And there's language games. And I never played with any of these, so I couldn't even tell you what they do. Buzzword. Buzzword of the day, I guess. So you learned something, learned something new word, didn't you? A big, big packer. Well, that's a hard to pronounce. And last dictionary we'll look at, not quite torturing the dictionaries, we'll go to something more interesting, is um, this one's dictionary.cambridge.org slash dictionary. You might be able to just type to dictionary.cambridge.org. Uh, Again, if you have the PowerPoint, you can go back to it by clicking the P down here and then right click on that link and choose open hyperlink. And I'll have this on a web page next time. So let's say everybody will just be able to click it direct if you want to type PowerPoint. Okay, so. And again, it's, it's not too exciting on, on much of it. This one does have some uh, features. Like, what do you know is different on it? English, Spanish, Spanish, English. They got a grammar, grammar piece here. Do they get English, Japanese too? Oh, down there. And there's some of these are interesting because they pronounce it in other languages even. I doubt they do Japanese, but French, I bet they do. If I click this English, French. I'm going to type please. Use to politely ask for something. STH. This one doesn't appear to have a pronunciation. See you play. Three years of French, and I, I can pronounce some words, but that's about it. Anyway, don't worry about that dictionary. Let's go to something more interesting. Let's say you're trying to learn another language. You're going to go to Sp uh, Spain. You're going to Mexico. Um, going to go somewhere else. Go to um, that might be a little easier to see. We're going to type in W. If, if again, if you have PowerPoint, go here, right click on it, choose open uh, open hyperlink. Hyperlink. Um, but otherwise, you can type in www.spanishdict.com.
Yeah, the next, uh, you just click the. Okay, so I'm going to right-click on it and choose Open Hyperlink. And it says Most Accurate Spanish Translator. Did everybody get to that point? Yeah, okay. Now if I um, type in how much is the room per night, It'll pop up this list your vocabulary bloom or uh, so forth. It pops up with a window like that. Click the X in the upper right hand corner. How much is that room for, for, for the night? You click this. And that's how you ask it. Now, the like like you indicated, a lot of these you can go to your on your phone. You know, so if you're trying to get uh, something uh, at a motel where you so forth, you you type that in there and you click play and and then it'll ask them. Doesn't doesn't help you um, in terms of the, their response, um, but that at least help you you know ask uh, that first question. If I type uh, the room is seventy dollars. Press enter. I um my wife had knee surgery and lost her job at the hospital. It made herself terminate because she didn't have enough sick leave to cover it, and she didn't work enough hours to be covered in her family leave act. So I took a job on weekends working in a motel, Wichita, and um, worked a uh, third shift. And one time, an uh, individual came into the family, looked like a very nice guy and so forth, from Mexico, I'm assuming. And he could not pronounce, he could not say one word of English. <laughs> I had no way to communicate with him. And um, I didn't know this site existed at that time. But if it did, I could have uh, brought this up and told him how much room was. Because I know what he wanted. He wanted a room. I just, I, I suppose, uh, you know, I, don't, I don't think I tried to type it down. I think I was so flustered. Because I'd never talked to somebody who didn't know one word of English. So he left. <laughs> he didn't look mad, you know, get, you know, and so forth. He just um, just left. But anyway, that's a Spanish dictionary. And there's a lot of tools up here. If you're trying to really learn the language, you can come up and, and access. Now, the next one we'll take a look at is this worldlingo.com. And all these are based on language. So they all kind of have their own little, little change and so forth. Again, if you have PowerPoint, you can go here and you can right click on it and open hyperlink. This one is not as um, robust in features, but it uh, really has a lot of different different parts to it. Nobody get there. Is everybody uh, the world lingo? Okay. Now I see over here on the uh, left hand side, there's a professional translation quote. This is where you can upload a document and they'll charge you and they'll translate it correctly. We don't want to do that. We want to do the free one. 
So uh, on this, you see where it says click here for free translations? We want to click the here. It's a, little, it's a different color. Now I'm going to type in um, uh, the wind is uh, loud. Now down here, you see mine says Arabic to Arabic. I can do the drop down and change this to English because I'm going to, I want to go to English to Arabic. Yeah, choose this drop down, and that'll pop up with the different languages you can choose. And then if I click the translate, small, it's over here on the right hand side. That's what it is in Arabic. Now, I don't speak Arabic, I don't know anything about Arabic, so I don't know why it's on the right hand side. Uh, but, uh, but not all of them are on the right hand side, so um, I think that's something to do with Arabic. If I do the drop down and I choose uh, Portuguese and click translate. In Portuguese, that's o vento e alto. Probably not even saying that close. It'd be nice, nice if this had a uh, pronouncing uh, button on it. Um, Chinese simplified. And there it puts the Chinese symbols. If you use Facebook, you could actually highlight this and then right click on it and choose copy. And you could paste it into Facebook. If you want to wish everybody a uh, happy new year in Chinese. <laughs> really confuse people. Looks like it has a limit of 500 rewards. Um, I doubt if you'd ever exceed that. Everybody get some kind of translation done? Now, if you keep right clicking on that, you're probably seeing all these, these tabs open up. If you don't want them open, you can click that X to close them. And that's only for people with the PowerPoint. Make sure you don't click the X in the upper right hand corner, otherwise it pulls the entire browser. Even then it's easy to get back. Now this one might be a lot to type in, so um, we'll skip over that one, the Collins Dictionary. Um, Duolingo has a pretty good name on uh, cell phones. So this is www.duolingo.com slash learn. Now, learn language for free forever. Um, you see where it says get started? If I click to get started, then I can choose like Spanish. Why are you learning a language? This is more of just a... Um, uh, it has nothing to do with the site. They're just wanting to know. So brain training. And click continue. Pops up here with notifications. You can set block. Great. Now choose a daily goal. Regular is fine. I'll click continue. And then when it gets here and wants you to sign in, don't sign in to Facebook. Don't sign in to Google. Uh, if you got an option, just don't sign in. Now, if you're really serious about learning, 
this is where you you create that uh, email account and you and you can sign in and, and progress. But I'll click not now. And it says new to Spanish, which I am. Or at least I haven't seen it for about 40 years. 35 years. And it's kind of nice. It says, which one of these is the man? Well, you can probably look at the picture and see. El Hombre, if I'm saying that right. They'll even pronounce it for you. Does everybody on, uh, get to this page? No? Okay. It's got a good name for it. And it walks you through. You get there, which one of these is a woman? Uh, which one of these is a, okay, continue. Which is, is a girl? Three in a row. Um, then uh, write this in English. La Nina, I think that's the girl. Check. Which is the boy El Nino. Your hard work is paying off. Yo, yo soy una mujer. Yo, I think is I. Soy. Well, they give you hints. You put your mouse over it, it tells you. <laughs> I am. A mu mu mujer woman. Because if you're at home and you can't figure it out, what do you do? Well, there's nobody to talk to. 
So that's why they provide these little, it was like, well, that's cheating. Yeah. I am a boy or a man. What is Hombre? Hombre is a man. <laughs> 10 XP. Combo bonus. Then ask you to create a profile, and I'll, again, I'll say create a profile later. At some point in time, they might make you actually create a profile. But it'll keep getting harder and harder, um, so forth. Phrases, travel. There's an apple. You are a girl. No, you are a boy. You are a boy. El come manzanas. I think that's apple. Um, he eats apples. Anyway, that's Duolingo. Now, this is one that's been around forever. Babbel. So, www.babbel.com. I wouldn't say it's the best one, even though it's been around forever. Speak a new language with confidence, so you can do the drop down. Let's say I want to learn how to speak um, uh, Norwegian. Click start learning now. Study the words, hello, hi. Yes is ya. Yeah. Goodbye is hadet. Thank you is ta, talk, talk. And then it uh, has you match the items. Hi is, um, is it okay. Yeah, it was yes, I think. Yeah. Hadet was goodbye. Talk is thank you. And then uh, click the continue, choose the correct answer. Hello, Trium, Trim, hi. So it's amazing what they put out there for free. But again, they're selling ads on this. They're making money off it. Um, some people uh, will register and pay for the like paid amount because they get like extra extra items. Any questions on any of the language ones? Now I'm going back to my PowerPoint. I'm going to the, the third or um, fourth slide down. And you should see wikipedia.org. How many of you have ever used Wikipedia? One. This is probably the best thing on the internet, I think. So type in the www.wikipedia.org, or you can right-click on this and choose open hyperlink. I'll spend hours on Wikipedia fooling around. Um, just because I, I find history fascinating, and I can read about all kinds of different topics and so forth. Okay, so what it should look like.
Doesn't look like uh, very much, not very impressive here, um, but there's tons out here. Um, I was reading about Korea yesterday. I was watching MASH, and then I got curious about Korea and uh, went out and read it. Um, so I typed in Korea, and when it does that, it pops up with these items. And you can click them, or you can click the search. So if I click Korea, then this tells you a little bit about Korea. Everybody. Yeah. So it does have some false information. I think they're most uh, notorious ones. Some people get out there and just mess with you. Uh, it usually gets corrected fairly quickly, but um, I think a famous one was Sinbad. I don't know if he's an actor or is he a comedian? Uh, they Somebody put out there that he had passed away, and he hadn't. Um, so, yeah, that's the worst part about it. But it does have lots of information, and a lot of people seem pretty dedicated to it. It's changing all the time. It's changing all the time. Right. Um, and then you can go down and you see each one of these little blue is areas you can go read more about. Um, like this right here, I thought was real interesting. Uh, 1945, the Soviet Union, the United States agreed on the surrender of Japanese forces in Korea in the aftermath of World War II, leaving Korea partitioned along 38th parallel. What I kind of got from reading this is the reason why they were split up in the first place is they were fighting on the Japan side during World War II. Now, maybe I'm wrong about that, but that's kind of what I got out of the reading on this, which then it made sense. Because I'm sitting there, well, why are they split up in the first place? Why is there a North Korea and South Korea? And um, then there were some real interesting um, things about um, what happened during all that. Now, as I scroll down, you get more detail down here. You could probably sit there and spend an hour reading all about Korea. And if I scroll down far enough, what you'll see is to try to make it a reliable, as much as it can be since it's a community supported, make it a reliable site, they have references. So they'll put references out for all the information they got. Now, some of the references are good. Some of them are going to, um, to legitimate sites. Here's the Library of Congress. Here's a Gutenberg uh, Bible, um, whatever they're getting from that. So if you read about something new and you're wondering, uh, what does that mean? Um, now I've completely forgot what that, something pa a Packer, what was that name? Big Packer. Big Packer. Anything on Big Packer. Might not be, sometimes there isn't. See, it does not exist. You can ask for it to be created and somebody doesn't go out there. But it does come up here, uh, Notorious Big Packer Bard, so backpacking. So I can click backpacking, and I'll read, I can read about backpacking. This is kind of the, the source that almost everybody uses nowadays. Um, my pastor is talking about the uh, um, book of uh, Judas. The Book of Judas. Book of Judas. Yeah. It's um, a lot of books came out uh, trying to um, contradict the Gospels and so forth, and, and uh, Gospel of Judas is one. And it's old. There's no doubt about that. But um, I went and read about this uh, to learn more about the Gospel of Judas. And the idea was is that it was trying to contradict uh, the other the other Gospels. Um which was interesting. And I, I responded to his Facebook page on this and so forth. And I said, I know Wikipedia is not, 
<laughs> you know, 100% legitimate source. Mm -hmm. And um, But he said that was right. That's what it was trying to do. Probably in here you could even find the link to it. Yeah, lot of, lots of fun. Um, I still haven't read about Rome yet. I'm curious about Rome. I watched uh, Gladiator the other night, and uh, it looked like the cities were just like full of savages. And I wondered, is that really the way it was back then? And, and you know, because no, no plumbing type deal, and I suppose it was. And but I haven't read about Rome yet, so I come here and I type in Rome. And uh, it comes up, and this just talks specifically about the uh, city. Um, but then as I read through this, you know, I might be able to find a link to it. Or if I had paid attention when I was typing it in, what would be a better one to search for? Roman Empire. Yeah. So um, it's a, you can sit there and do research on uh, whatever you want to, to read about on this. Where do you think people put false stuff out here? You think they do it on Roman Empire? Politics? Yeah, politics, very people very heated, right? Um, so, um, Trump impeachment. See, I would worry about when I'm reading this, whether the Democrats um, really put a real slant on it or whether the Republicans really put a slant on it or both. <laughs> so, you know, I would not trust this uh, at all when I'm reading here. Now, they do provide a lot of links. See the links right here? And if you put your mouse over it, they'll tell you where they got it from. So they try to be legitimate on it. Here's uh, something about, um, I guess, Biden's son. And there's a New York Times. WP, Washington Post, New York Times. Um, I am, yeah. Right, and it pops up like that. So if you're trying to see, well, where do they get this information from? Does that even seem feasible? Um, Now, here's one saying that um, say it made clear fact to the Ukrainian government that the United States would remain in communication with them only if they discussed a future investigation of the Bidens. Um, this is ABC News. ABC News is slanted which way? They're li pretty liberal, aren't they? So, you know, I don't know if I trust that. Um, if it said Fox News, you know, the fact that they're bashing um, uh, Trump right there, I'd think, okay, that's true. So um, who knows what the real truth is? Questions on Wikipedia at all? Um, I think you have to get rights. Like, I don't think I can just go down to the bottom and start typing. But they, I think you have to apply for to be an editor. And you probably sign something saying you're not going to deliberately put out false information if you do the reject you type of deal. Um, but then people just uh, put it out here. They go and research, they go read a website, they come out here and they type in their own words and put a reference. And you see, you probably won't find much that has 138 um, references. That's a pretty, pretty referenced uh, site. But if they're all um, liberal sites, does it mean anything? No, you probably need both, wouldn't you? If you find the same information on CNN.com and Fox News, then maybe it's true. Unless I say maybe. I don't usually read politics out here. Um, I use it for history or to read about other countries. Well, we're out of time for today. Um, so next time we'll, we'll continue on. But I will put this into a web page. It's real easy for me to do. I'm not suggesting something that's taking me a long time. And I'll put it out there and I'll have you go to that web page and I'll have everybody just click on it and it'll open it up in a new window. So we won't uh, be struggling typing in the the, um, the address anymore. Is there any questions or anything?
<laughs> yeah, I apologize for that. I didn't realize that went out. I'm sure some people are looking at us like, what, it's only half an hour? <laughs> By the time you'd sign in, we'd be done with the class. Um, you don't have to sign out unless you want to. Just close the lid, um, and that's, that's fine. <laughs>